Hi, I am Jenny, also known in my town as the girl whose groom never showed up at the wedding. You guessed it. Every bride's worst nightmare came true for me. It is a day I will forever remember. Everything started with meeting the love of my life, Liam. I don't know about you, but I've always dreamed of the day I get married to my soulmate. I was madly in love with Liam. He was my best friend in every way. And of course, after a couple of years, I was looking forward to marrying him. Liam, on the other hand, never proposed. He never said a word about our future, and every time I brought it up, he just brushed it off. On top of that, Liam spent a lot of his time at work, which was kind of weird because he didn't have to. He always said that since he works at his father's company, he wanted to prove to him that he was a hard worker who earned his position. I did respect that, but I couldn't keep going with him like that. We barely spent time with each other anymore, and it caused me great pain because I loved him. Until one day, I felt like I've had enough. Liam was obviously not considering marrying me, and he was leaving me alone most of the week. I had to confront him. And to be honest, I thought that Liam wouldn't care much anyway, because everything between us was just dying slowly. I was about to break up with him, but Liam begged me not to. He said that he was sorry and that he's ready to do anything just to keep me around. He looked deep in my eyes and said, Jenny, please, you're all I have. I can't lose you. I really loved him. So I agreed to stay with him on the condition that we will start planning our future together. Liam agreed. He then started to change. He gave me more of his time. He spoke about marriage and said that he promises to propose to me at the right time. I was very excited, but not for long. Week had passed, and Liam started getting back to his old self of ignoring me. I felt like he was not being truthful with me again, and I had to do something, so I texted Liam and said that we need to talk that night after work. When I got home at night, I found Liam waiting for me with a smile on his face. He said that he had a surprise for us, and he pulled out two tickets to Paris from his pocket. Are we going to Paris? I asked. Yes, baby, Liam said. Get your things ready. I was a bit confused, but also happy. I mean, who could say no to Paris? During our trip, Liam took me to a fancy restaurant and asked me to dress up. We sat down at a quiet little table and scanned the menu. Liam was staring at me longer than usual when I felt awkward and asked him why he's looking at me like that. He said nothing. He kept staring, but had the faintest hint of a smile playing on his lips. I thought he was acting weird, so I asked him what was going on. I can't think of a better place and time than to give you this, he said. He pulled out a small red velvet box, then dropped to one knee. Slowly, he opened the box. Inside was the most amazing and huge diamond ring. It was so shiny and sparkly, I almost blurted out, yes, right there before he even had the chance to ask. My hands immediately went over my mouth as I gasped. Finally, I never thought I would get engaged to Liam, let alone in Paris of all places. Yes, I said, crying as he placed the ring on my finger. I will. People around us cheered and clapped. It was a wonderful moment. Amazing fiancé, check. Beautiful ring, check. Perfect engagement story, check. All was left to do was get married. If only things ran as smooth as I expected. So on the day of the wedding, I was ready and in the wedding dress. The guests were waiting and everything was glamorous, but the groom was missing. I called him a zillion times and there was no answer. I was getting closer to a breakdown with every minute that passed. I waited and waited. I thought he was gonna walk in at any moment. Instead, I was looking at my guests as they were walking out. Anthony, the best man, never showed up as well, and he was supposed to come with Liam. I knew something must be wrong. I was sure that Liam would never leave me at the altar standing alone like that. Liam loved me, and he wanted us to be together. Something bad must have happened to them on the way, I thought. All kinds of ideas were rushing through my mind. I assumed that it could have been a car accident, or that one of them got terribly sick. It must be an emergency, I thought. My Liam was in danger, and I knew it in my heart. At that point, I stopped caring about the wedding and him not showing up. I just wanted to know that my Liam was okay and alive. I hurried up to his parents. Both of them looked extremely upset. I told them that we had to leave everything and go to the police station to report Liam missing. They looked at each other as if they thought I was crazy. Apparently, they believed that he really did leave me at the altar by choice. I tried in vain to convince them to help me. I then decided to do it on my own. I went back to the room and started taking my wedding gown off to prepare myself to leave. I couldn't believe his parents weren't worried. They should be going to the police station with me right now. I couldn't believe they were busy arguing about the wedding party arrangements that were going to go to waste instead of looking for their son. 
I was about to head out to the police station with my sister when I spotted Liam's mom on the phone. That moment, I couldn't hold back my anger and I stormed towards her looking for a fight. I wanted her to know she's a bad mother for not worrying about her son and that she should be ashamed of herself. As I was about to open my mouth, I heard her whisper the word, Liam. I kept my mouth shut. I was standing behind her and she didn't even notice. You promised us.